This list was created by Professor David Aiken, a professor of aerospace engineering at MIT, Boston, <laughs> Wala, and Maryland. He's been designing spacecraft for over 30 years. Okay. And he came up with this list of laws saying that if you don't follow these laws, your spacecraft will crash. Okay. okay. And the list is so interesting hmm. that in that you find so many of those laws are applicable in our day-to-day -day lives, even though we are not designing spacecraft. Right? Yeah, I saw so, the list and I was fascinated how much of that applied to me in my day-to-day -day life. Correct. So just to uh, get an idea of how broadly it is applicable, what we did was we circulated this list in the office hmm. and we asked people if there were laws in there that they found were very interesting and applicable. And uh, each one has picked one law that they really loved and we're going to have a chat with them. Yes. So let's uh, bring in uh, people one by one. Who's, right. who's first? Ankur. So yeah. uh, which are your favorite laws? So of course the all time favorite is there has to be always a clear line of blame. But let me read you the two I chose. Yeah. Uh, number 33 on the list. Uh, Patton's law of program planning. A good plan violently executed now is better than a perfect plan next week, next Which month. is exactly what your t-shirt, uh, yeah. sweatshirt says. <laughs> Time nice. to start up nice. is now. Uh, credit to Head Start. Uh, number 37, which uh, I think I've been uh, taking very personally recently, hmm. is uh, uh, Henshaw's Law. One key to success in a mission is establishing clear lines of blame. And uh, I think uh, this works very well and one may um, mistake this for uh, getting work done from non-performers but mm -hmm. the way I think about it yeah. uh, even otherwise brilliant people and I will mm -hmm. include both of us generously mm -hmm. on that list yes. uh, I have found uh, do much better when there are clear lines of blame uh, which also brings me to a thought yeah. uh, that I think people rise to the platform that they are given yeah. they are not made for something yeah. but once they have an opportunity which shows up which yeah. requires them to grow they yeah. grow Huh. And one fundamental engine of fire behind that is a clear line of blame that now I have to deliver this, now I have to do this. Correct. As in what you are saying is that when the success of something yeah. is going to give you the credit, yeah. but the failure is also going to sit at your door, yeah. you yeah. have much more invested in it, you put much more uh, into it, you have more skin in the game, right? Yeah. So And that is why having diffuse uh, blame uh, yeah. means that everybody says it is somebody else's problem and yeah. uh, it, it becomes that little bit easier to say okay right. ye nahi kiya to. what if I do not do this it's maybe okay correct right that correct. goes away when you know that it's explicit to everyone that it's your neck on the line right uh, then you better as in you you have that there is as in you have to rise up to the occasion then you have to make it happen and I've seen that happening across the board be it home Right. Be it uh, not leaving a, a wet towel on the bed while leaving the home, <laughs> say later, yeah. getting something done, delivered to a client or getting something which is, uh, you know, there are many actions which if you do not take, yeah. there is no immediate failure which can be seen. Correct. Yeah. And a lot of times at work, um, there needs to be things which are lined up in such a way that yeah. this input has to go in irrespective of clear output being measured. Correct. And that input, uh, how do you else do you enforce it if there is no, no clear lines of Correct, yeah. So I've been realizing that right. uh, maybe the, it, it's sort of changing how I think about everything. There has yes. to be a clear line of blame for everyone doing everything. Correct. There's uh, no such thing as group responsibility. There is all individual works. responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, that's why I guess if you have a question, asking it on a WhatsApp group might not get you answers, but sending it to Ankur will yeah. get you an answer because Ankur knows yeah. Yeah. that nobody else is going to answer yeah. it. Right? Oh, so uh, of course there is this, of course, uh, what is it called? The bystander effect <laughs> yes. kicks in as well, but we'll probably not go there. I was trying not to go there because yeah. <laughs> it turns out that that was a very bad research and it really? was misreported by New York Times, but we will oh, not go God. To <laughs> I need to go and Maybe read about it. we will do another episode on that some other day. <laughs> but okay. but, but uh, this thing, I often do this. Yeah. I take the same text, it's not structured like it's, like it's being sent to a large number yeah. of people. Yeah. It's like, can you tell me about this? What do you think about this? Yeah. And yesterday, just yesterday night, I did this. I sent it to four people yeah. asking them, should I buy these fancy pants? Yeah. Right? And if so, where will I wear it? Yeah. Unfortunately for me, two of them said yes, two of them said, <laughs> said no. <laughs> well, I might still buy it though. Next All time right. I'll probably show up in those. Cool. Okay, great. All uh, right, great. Thank you, Ankur.
वेलकम अर्पित वॉट इज योर लॉ so very interesting i mean full disclosure i did i did study aerospace engineering so i don't know how good am i uh, for a video like this because a lot of these laws i mean you yeah. won't believe our professors literally would speak to us day in day out oh okay interestingly until the point of this video where i had to come and express some of them yeah i did not really think about them in in certain ways that i have now okay. which is why the one that i picked was that you have to see something either three times or teach it once ha huh. in order to really get it right Yes, the first time we just glaze over it. We just assume yes. we understood, but we haven't really understood. Absolutely, and yeah. and and some of this is also coming from my time in advertising, where you know yeah. we say that you have to see something like yeah. seven times. A potential customer has to see something seven times in order to kind of register the product. Correct. Uh, I have a very similar uh, experience yeah. of having done this during my uh, aerospace as as a subject when I was studying. Yeah. So, aerodynamics and uh, stability and control yeah. are two subjects which everyone thinks are the toughest. Yeah. So the easiest way to do in engineering is you go over it, over it, over it again yeah. in your head, and suddenly now you have proper structures yeah. set up in your mind, right? Right. Yeah. Where do you fail is the first time you go and attend a viva. Oh yes. Right. right. Yeah. You're, you're told like you're trying to teach the professor. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Go, go on. Ex explain yeah. uh, what what is CM alpha, for example, yeah. right? Yeah. So very technical term, hmm. and you are suddenly like. This used to sound very right in my head. Huh. What is exactly. coming out of my mouth is yes. absolute trash. Yeah. right and that is that is where we actually got into this habit of you know can we go and teach this absolutely in once fact, one very important reason i started this channel is because you know i mean i'm basically teaching we are teaching right and uh, it helps me understand that is my primary motivation if you guys learn that's just a secondary bonus i don't care about you guys okay absolutely very so, well said and yeah. uh, uh, you know and and of course there is another favorite of mine which i would not want to leave without saying okay. which is the last point that in space yeah. there is no room for error there is absolutely no room for uh, for failure you know yes uh, it's something that has been very close uh, yeah. to me also personally yeah. lot of people you know take it in a very negative connotation that you don't Correct. have space to make a mistake in life right right that is not what it is it is yeah. if you are at a very very crucial juncture yeah you could go left or right you know if you remember the formula 1 uh, final yeah. race where right. hamilton yeah. Yeah. lost right couldn't you you just can't make so there are some mistakes that you're not allowed in space that way is a very unfair and no i think the important point to note there is that when you know that a mistake is going to result in people dying or uh, uh, you know billion dollar spacecraft blowing up yeah. then you are far more careful Yes, and uh, I mean just that. Uh, Marathi people would be familiar with the example of Tanaji, uh, right? When they were losing a battle on Siegfried Fort, and he cut off the ropes that they could use to escape. Yeah, and now they know that there is no chance for failure. Any failure here is going to mean death. Absolutely, and so they fought much better, and they won. And that's yeah. uh, the same kind of focusing uh, yes. that. this brings to the table and yeah, you should uh, similar things can be done in real life also you can make yourself do it a very recent example navin of this is the the entire max episode which happened with boeing oh, right yeah. yeah two two aircraft going down i mean it is yeah. unthinkable happening today it is said that you're more likely to die on your way to the airport than die on a plane crash correct exactly yeah 350 people died yes right they they say that okay you can't blame one person it's a swiss yeah. cheese model which is essentially right. always called in aviation yeah. but that's not true here it was it was that that one mistake you were yes. not allowed to, to make. make if that yeah. wouldn't have happened those people wouldn't have died right. so yeah catastrophic example but yes. that's so, my take all right thank you arpit thank you welcome akash uh, akash is our operations manager by the way <laughs> so what is your favorite law uh my favorite is 20th law which yeah. says uh, something like a bad design with a good presentation is doomed uh, doomed eventually a good design with a bad bad presentation is doomed immediately right so basically hmm. if you have good content hmm. but a bad presentation right you are going to fail right away because nobody is ever going to even look at your content yeah. right yeah. so give me an example of that uh being dishonest uh, or uh, lying Uh, is a good example hmm. but uh, if we have to draw parallels with it a hmm. job interview or uh, hmm. a candidate selection can be a better one right yeah. so i mean if there is a candidate who really knows his or her stuff right hmm. Hmm. but uh, they are not good at talking ah. they are not going to get a chance right they are going to get rejected in the first 5 minutes right. because the interviewer isn't even going to try to poke and find out how good they are at whatever programming or uh, editing or whatever right huh. whereas the reverse uh, 
uh, is not true, right? So right. I mean, reverse is kind of true in the sense that if you don't know your stuff, but you are great at presentation, hmm. you might succeed for a little while, but right. eventually you will fail. Yeah. But the important thing to keep in mind is no matter, I mean, one of the problems a lot of us uh, Indians have hmm. is that we think of uh, presentation and communication skills as not very important. And we think if our uh, core is good, hmm. then the rest of it doesn't matter. But right. the point is it really, really matters. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need to uh, break the barrier first yeah. and then uh, you can prove your skills. Correct. You don't get a chance to prove your skills if right. you don't have the presentation layer, the soft skills. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Akash. Thank you. Hey, welcome back, Srikant. Thank, thank you. I thank like you, thank you much you. better. Those guys were boring. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I believe you. Is that one of the laws? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? Uh, I have a lot of favorites actually. Uh, one of them is number 10, which is when in doubt, estimate uh, in an emergency guess, but be sure to go back and clean up the mess when the real numbers come along. Very self-explanatory. You give it a little bit thought, but uh, you'll immediately understand what it means. Yeah. My favorite, yeah. ultimate favorite is number 40, yeah. which is McBrien's law. Yeah. And listen to this. You can't make it better until you make it work. It is such a simple line and such a mind-blowing line. Yes. I can't begin to tell you. And this is something that we do inherently, but we yeah. don't realize the importance of it. Yes. Like, uh, suppose I'm editing an audio piece. Yeah. I have to have a rough draft of it yeah. before I can make it better. Yeah. Until I have the foundation, I can't really improve upon it. Yes. I love it. Yeah. No, I think... Uh... You are making it sound easy, right? A lot of people are not able to do this at all. Wow. I mean, they have some idea in their head of what a perfect article looks like or what a perfect audio piece looks like or whatever it is that they want to do. Ooh. And because they don't know how to make that perfect thing, they never get started. Perfect They're, is the enemy of good. Perfect is the enemy of good and forget good. Yeah? I mean, just a, even a bad thing, right? It is so much easier to fix a bad thing after you have created it than to create a good one from the beginning. And so many people would produce so much better stuff yeah. if they were to just first, you know, let us make a bad one, yes. then let us improve. One example from one of our previous episodes hmm. is of pottery class. Hmm. Okay. The prof made half the class say that, you know, spend all your time learning skills, designing the perfect pot and make one perfect pot in the end. Yes. And the other was told, just make as many stupid bad pots as you want. Yes. Guess who made the better pot by the end? The people who were allowed to make as many bad pots as exactly. they wanted. Exactly. Because they made a bad one, then they improved it, then they improved it, then they improved it. Whereas the perfect guys never really got started. Yeah. They got started and then they made a bad one in the and end. And the improvement yeah. is actually a natural consequence right. of doing it multiple times because you can't help but improve. Correct. It's yeah. the only way forward. Yeah. You can't become successively, progressively worse at something. Exactly. So I love it. I, um, I truly, truly... Uh, enjoyed all of these laws. In fact, yeah. I wish I could speak about every single one. Absolutely, that is true. There is a link there. I think each one of you should go and read the whole thing in detail. Ooh, think. Ooh. They should they should post their favorite in the comments. Oh yeah, post your favorite in the comments and give an example, which is not related to spacecraft. Yeah. Right. Uh, but what I really find interesting is mm. that, you know, at the top level, this sounds like a LinkedIn Gyan episode, <laughs> right? Uh, 30 things to learn from... Uh, you know, 40 but, laws of spacecraft yeah, design. <laughs> but the reality is uh, so much more deeper than an average LinkedIn Gyan article, right? Yeah. These are really uh, good. That's what I like about it. And that's why I, when we sent it out to all these people, the response we got was phenomenal. They said, oh my God, these are really good. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So and take a look. If you do come across a LinkedIn article that speaks about uh, real life gyan from Laws of Spacecraft Design, hmm. tag this uh, episode, tag this video into that comment section and let's have some fun. I love trolling people. Yes. But uh, I, I wanted to ask you, do you have a favorite law yes, out I of these 40? Yes, I do, right? So I want to go with uh, number two. Huh. To design a spacecraft right takes an infinite amount of effort. That is why it is a good idea to design them to operate when some things are wrong. Meaning that don't you can't make a perfect design. Yeah. You cannot make a thing where something isn't going to go wrong. Yeah. Right? So instead, huh. build something which you try very hard that nothing should go wrong. Huh. But also in addition, huh. If something goes wrong, you should have uh, backup plans 
to deal with it. And yeah. a great example of this comes from my brother huh. who had just joined a very tech focused uh, hardware company. Huh. Okay. And the tech guys there were very unhappy about one particular uh, component hmm. which would occasionally fail at the customer location. Huh. And they were trying very hard to figure out why does it fail and how can we just prevent it from failing and they were just going round in circles huh. and my brother who had more of a customer and sales focused background huh. he said you know what forget stop trying to do this it is taking too much time yeah. just add an extra module there saying when this goes wrong detect it and restart right and the customers were so happy with that the yeah. I mean, they don't even realize that a problem happened, right? So Yeah, because the tech guys were trying to be perfect with the entire module, right. whereas actually what was needed in the field was basically a way to yeah. bypass it, overcome it, or, you know, make a corrective action when that happens. That's essentially what is needed. As long as right. no important lives, data, money is lost, and Correct. there's a way to overcome it, do it, just do it. And this, this applies to you in uh, everyday life also. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. yes. So, um, go ahead, read up no, on... I would say there are at least another 15 laws in there which apply to your life that you should check out. More than 15. I mean, my law was number 40 and yeah. I remember there being more laws after that. Yeah. And, of course, 39 laws before that. So, go check out those and uh, let us know what your favorite is in the comments. And uh, do let us know how you see it being applicable in your day-to-day -day life right this was fun this was lots of fun yes. should do some more of these but later probably mm -hmm. shrikant okay. naveen thank you future iq thank you for watching till the end if you like this episode check out these others you might like them also and please share with your friends i'm sure they will also like these